Hello friends, welcome to History and Mythology. In today's video, we are going to see the oldest clock, the biggest clock, the oldest alarm clock and an Egyptian device to manage timekeeping at night. If you like our video, then please consider subscribing to our channel. So without losing time, let's start today's video. Why there are 24 hours in a day and 60 minutes in an hour? The 24-hour day concept comes from the ancient Egyptians. They divided the day into 10 hours with devices like shadow clocks and then added one hour at each end, one for twilight and one at the end of the day. Same concept they applied for the night. 60 minutes concept comes from the Sumerian civilization who made astronomical calculation in the sexagesimal base 60 system which developed in around 2000 BC. Later, Claudius Ptolemy, a Greek astronomer, explained and subdivided each of the 360 degrees of latitude and longitude into smaller segment by influencing from the Sumerian sexagesimal system. He divided each degree into 60 parts called minute and each minute again subdivided into 60 smaller part called second. This Egyptian sundial discovered outside a tomb in Egypt's Valley of the King may be the world's oldest ancient Egyptian sundials. The sundial was found on the floor of a worksman hut in the Valley of the King dated circa 1550 BC. The significance of this piece is that it is roughly 1000 year older than what was generally accepted as time when this type of time measuring device was used. Past sundial discoveries date to the Greco-Roman period which lasted from about 332 BC. The sundial is made of a flattened piece of limestone called an ostracon which a black semicircle divided into 12 sections drawn on top. Small dots in the middle of each of the 12 sections which are about 15 degree apart likely serve to give more precise times. Ancient Egyptian people used the device called the Merket. Merket involved the use of a bar with a plumb line attached to a wooden handle. It was more efficient than other contemporary devices such as sundials which were rendered useless during the dark. For the operation to work, two marquettes were required, one aligned with Polaris, the North Pole Star. One person would have stood at an observation point and sighted the falling star through a narrow slit in a palm leaf known as bay. A second person could move until a plumb bob crossed the line of sight and then mark a point on the ground. This process would be repeated to create an angle between where a star rises and where it falls. The sundial clock in Jantar Mantar is the world's largest stone sundial clock situated in Jaipur, India and was constructed on 17th century. In this giant clock, even two seconds time difference can be seen by naked eyes. The ramp of the sundial points directly towards the North Pole. There is a curved scale on both sides of the ramp, which has markings. From the position of shadow of ramp on a scale, you can accurately read the local time of Jaipur. Long sectional marking in this image indicates hour. Each hour is further divided into intervals of 15 minutes, which further break up in 5 minutes to 1 minute and lastly, each minute is divided into thirds. Therefore, the accuracy of the sundial is one third of a minute or 20 seconds. Do you know who invented the first ever alarm clock? The first known alarm clock can actually be traced to ancient Greece and was invented by Plato, a famous philosopher whose ideas are still studied today. This alarm clock was the extension of ancient water clock. The upper ceramic vessel 
supplies the next vessel through an outflow funnel which was appropriately calculated for a predefined time. When the second vessel becomes full at the programmed moment through the internally located axial pipette, it evacuates fast forward the next closed vessel and forces the contained air to come out whistling through a tube at its top. After its function, the third vessel empties slowly through a small hole towards the lower storage vessel in order to be reused.